It is the art of noise. A rhythmic collection of steps and stomps, of claps and cadence. A musical bridge linking pride and purpose, past and present. Over time, it evolved, taking root on college campuses, serving as a rite of passage for pledges and probates. Stepping, traditionally, is an African-American dance in which the body is the instrument. It was forged on black college campuses in fraternities and sororities and has now moved to the global stage. We are the first professional company in the world dedicated to traditional basketball. And this is our charge. And we don't just do it here in D.C., which is our home, this, you know, this, in the Atlas Performing Arts Center, which is where we're based in D.C., but all around the world. <laughs> Brian Williams is the founder of Step Africa, a DC-based dance troupe focused on the performance and preservation of stepping. Like so many others, his journey began on the campus of Howard University, but it was a post-graduation trip to South Africa that changed his life. And this is about 20 years ago, um, during uh, a very tumultuous time in South Africa. South Africa was going through his transition. Nelson Mandela had been released, but it was still dealing with apartheid. So I was there studying and learning about the country and came across the South African gumboot dance. And when I saw that art form, I was shocked by its similarities to stepping and decided to create an organization that would bring stepping together with this, at that point, not well-known African art form. And that is how Step Africa first began in 1994. <laughs> The gumboot dance has its roots in South Africa's mining industry. Workers wore the knee-high rubber boots to protect themselves in the flooded mines. They were sometimes forbidden to speak, so they also used the boots as a way to send messages through the darkness. A lot of the uh, people were coming from different parts of Africa, so everybody didn't speak the same language. So they came up with a language by uh, hitting, making beats and rhythms by hitting their boots. So one hit might mean, you know, I, I'm tired, I want to go on a break. And then two hits might mean, you know, I'm hungry, let's go to lunch. <laughs> and that, that language transcended and became a dance form that everyone wanted to do. And it became kind of a, a competition, you know, this mind wanted to be better than that one. Kind of like, you know, stepping in, in, in its own right. Now, yeah. And now, you know, this is where it is, so. That same spirit of competition and unity is the reason Step Africa is taking the dance off the college campus and into the broader community. When I started Step Africa, um, like I mentioned, I went to Howard University. And when I graduated, I loved stepping. But uh, got overseas and we're just aware how few people knew about the tradition. At that point, you know, 27 years ago, no one around the world really knew about stepping. It was very much a small art form, very much American and very specific within American culture. So it was good to share this form as a way of creating connections with different people. And I've enjoyed that process and I've loved that we've been able to take step into pretty much every corner of the United States, but now almost every corner of the world. And and open up new opportunity for the art form itself. Seven years ago, Step Africa started its Summer Steps program at Anacostia High School. The group has reached tens of thousands of teens across the D.C. area, and their message is now global. The <clears throat> Summer Steps program that we, that we do at Anacostia, we're taking that model and we're uh, doing that with the State Department. So uh, the State Department has commissioned us to go over to Croatia. And last year, uh, we, had a, uh, we had a camp there <clears throat> where the kids came from all over the Balkans, uh, from different uh, countries, and they came over to Croatia and we mixed them all up. Um, and they were from different backgrounds and um, you know, different, uh, I guess, uh, experiences. And they all came together and we made different step teams in Croatia. So it's not just, it's not just for African Americans, it's not just for college kids, it's for anyone who loves to dance um, and who, who wants to just experience something new. Uh, you know, we, you have fun stepping and you know, you find a lot of connections and things like that. So we're using it not just as a, um, 
a performance piece, but as a, a way to communicate and cross-cultural exchange and things like that. So what about stepping is so unifying where you can go to a place like Croatia mm -hmm. and have kids whose parents would never talk to one another and in some cases are at war with one another, mm -hmm. but the kids can unite through stepping. It's, it's an amazing experience, amazing experience because, you know, the first day everybody's kind of standoffish and, you know, kind of just hanging with the people that they know and then by the end you know everybody's exchanging you know Facebook and you know all that thing and, and they want to keep in contact with every everybody and so you know it's crying and you know everybody's having a good time because they don't want to leave they don't want it to end so I, I feel like stepping is a way that really really can bring cultures together uh, and that's how we we want to use it it's not just for African Americans it's not just for college kids it's for anyone who loves to dance um, and who, who wants to just experience something new. Part of what we do is trying to take the culture of stepping and the culture of a step show, of people who don't know what that's like, to go to a, a Greek competition or even a high school competition, don't know what it feels like to sit in the audience and root for a team and cheer. So we kind of bring that experience to people and, and at the same time that they're enjoying a show, we're really kind of teaching them what our culture and what the tradition is about, how we would normally do it, like you said, on the yard. Let a real man go down the road. Now I know the will be Up next, the meaning of stepping to fraternities and sororities who keep this tradition alive. Yeah. It is midday on the quad of Howard University. The bells bring the student body to the yard. As the ringing fades, a different marking of the time. Every first Friday of the month, members of the Greek organization step up and out. They come from different backgrounds, places, and times, but they are unified by rhythm. But stepping is not just about a show. It is a symbol of dedication to something bigger. What does stepping mean for you guys? Stepping for us is about camar camaraderie. What a, one thing we do that's different from everybody else is that we hop, we march. We're a very militant fraternity. We have a lot of pride in what we do. We like to do uh, community service. We like to uh, go out and community mentor. Um, as well as, uh, you know, do various programs on campus about, you know, domestic violence. One thing about us that everybody knows, we speak so proudly about ourselves, that we consider ourselves the people's champs. I said the road to cap, but it's long, rough, and rugged. It takes a hell of a man to hold up. And then in your organization, how does Stepping fit in? Uh, stepping, uh, we've been doing it since the 50s. Um, our organization uses canes. We've been using canes since the 70s. Uh, we tap canes, twirl canes. Uh, we shimmy for the women, you know. What's that? Uh, shimmy is just like a uh, you, you shimmy for move the your shoulders. Woman. You you, so you want me to shimmy that. for you? I so need I to know what it is. All right, can we can sh Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's get back to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it's done. You know what I'm saying? And so for your organization, how does stepping bring you all together? Um, it's kind of just like a team, like any football team, basketball team. We all together all the time. We practice in blood, practice. sweat, and tears. It just brings us together. It's more of a brotherhood to us. It's stepping forced us to be together. And how? In what ways? How it made us grow. It kinda, when you're practicing and everything, when you're doing all of these steps together, you're learning things about the traditions of the fam or the fraternity and everything. <laughs> things <laughs> like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to do stunts and everything. It, you, it's a trust factor in that too, you know, so. When you first saw it on TV, what was it? Um, it was on, it was on, um, what's it called, A Different World? Right. Well, that's everybody's yeah. first taste of what stepping is, but that's where I saw it, on A Different World. And how does stepping fit into your organization? Well, it's not all about stepping. We do stepping just for fun. It doesn't entail everything about who you are, but it's definitely a showcase of the hard work we put in, some of our history, a little bit of our history, not too much. So it's definitely just a showcase of who we are. Um, it's used for recruitment every now and then, but it's just really just a showcase to show that we are here, we're still relevant, we're still around, so. It shows that we work hard and we also play hard as well. The love I have for you. What made it amazing? 
I think it's the the creative aspect of that. I've, I've been a dancer all my life, been around musicals, and you see the aspect of theatrics in it. You see how much work is put in it. You see the technique. I mean, it jumps right off of you. And I'm a freshman not knowing a thing about step, and I'm just like, wow, that's intense. That's something really special. And in your organization, how do you guys use it? What is it used for? I think for us, it's a way for us to come together. It's another form of our sisterhood, just bringing us closer together because it's so much fun. And it has so much history wrapped within it. Um, and I think it's another way for us to give back. I mean, we go to other schools, we'll step and I think it's another form of helping others who don't know about the sorority, don't know about Delta, to come and get a piece of it and just get a taste that they can see and go, oh, that's beautiful, or oh, that looks like so much fun, or they look like they're really enjoying each other. Because we are, like, it's a very uplifting experience, for sure. Where were you when you first saw Stepping? Uh, I was actually 14 and I was at my church when I first saw Stepping. Uh, back at home we had this organization that was actually nationwide, but for the region, our chapter actually steps and performs at a thing we call conference. So when I actually was involved in the organization as a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year in high school, I actually was able to compete with them and we won a couple step shows also. The blue and white is strong for family. We are a driving force in our community. For your organization, what is the purpose of it all these years later? Why still do it? Because our organizations have different principles, like for Zeta, we have scholarship service, sister we love, and the ideal of finer womanhood. But it's like stepping allows us to show that in a more type of like exhibition type of way. Like rather than just saying it, we can exhibit how we show, you know, our scholarship and service and sisterly love and our final womanhood through our different step motions and things like that. And how do you do that? Incorporate, you know, your values into movement. Example, one of our one of our values is the ideal of final womanhood. So when our stepping, you know, we'll do something, we'll be precise. So finer. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, will be feminine to, you know, embody the womanhood. When were you first introduced to stepping? When was the first time you saw it? I was in middle school. I stepped in middle school. You did? Uh, yeah. How about um, for you, when you first saw it on television or in a movie, what was your first experience? My mom. She's part of my sorority, and I used to go to these black college expos. And I saw it, and I was like, Mom, what are you doing? And I had never stepped myself until I got here, honestly. And what did you think as a little girl when you saw it and you, you heard the, I guess, the feet and the claps and felt all that? What, what, what did you think as a child? I was confused, for real. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I was like, are they dancing? Are they, are they dying? I don't know. But it looked cool, and I knew I wanted to do it, but I couldn't until I got here. And then for your organization, what does stepping mean? It means unity, sisterhood. You have to like not only move together, but you have to sound as one sound. Or if there are more sounds, it has to sound like music. So it's really a bonding experience because if someone's off, then everyone's off. Stepping is something you see across any university, no matter if it's an HBCU, a predominantly white institution. Like you see it anywhere. I think it's really cool. It's the final practice before a step show. But these steppers do not belong to a fraternity or a sorority. They are high school students. These kids take the art form extremely seriously. And to have it on this platform or on this level, there's no other step show in Prince George's County that I'm aware of that put stepping on a professional stage. This step competition is not just for local students. We got a team coming down from New York, a team coming up from Virginia Beach, a team from Baltimore. I've, we've never had it like that before. So the five years I've seen it grow, um, get well supported by the community.
surfing is not just a form of dance for these kids. It's a lifestyle. We are in good shape. Like, we are in good shape. Are you all in good shape? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, what's it take to be on this team? Um, a lot of hard work, dedication. Three hours straight practice every day. Every day, three hours? Yeah, when it's competition, we work uh, basically 15 hours every week. It helps you establish like more leadership skills. Um, it teaches me like how to work with other people. You have a standard, you have to have a 3.5 or above to be on the team. Generally, we have a 4.0. Yeah. That's an average. Being on the sub team taught me discipline, dedication, consistency, and practice. Definitely helps you with like school and all of that because you learn like hard work and you're, you're around people who want to do good yeah. for themselves. So it makes you want to do better for yourself. Yeah. One time I was stepping in the store and then like people were looking at me and I was just like, what are they looking at? <laughs> and I didn't even realize it. The teams are led by coaches who are also former steppers. We have the greatest step coach on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Greatest step coach on the planet. Oh yeah, we do. That guy, he have a job, but he's always with us. I went to the University of Maryland, which was right down the street from Eleanor Roosevelt High School, so it was just convenient for me to come back and coach. I was told by my former coach, it's being a Lady Raider coach means teaching them to be ladies, which is 90% of the job. Teaching them to step is 10%. And some coaches are members of Greek organizations as well. I'm a drill sergeant. But I, it's very passionate to me, so I take it very seriously. But I also make sure it's fun. You know, we're taking some components of the fraternity life um, and transferring it on to the youth. But, you know, any involvement with youth of building our community um, is definitely supported. It's outside of practicing for your team, do you guys hang out together, work yeah. together? We have we have a really close bond I've never seen before. It's like we are sisters. We are we, sisters. Yeah. Sister. We become a family to each other because we're sweating together, we're crying together, we're bleeding together. We we break nails all the time. focusing on more than just stepping like you'll see that the Raider boys like it's more of a brotherhood like we definitely build a bond that is something they want to continually being a part of. We work hard for what we do and we try to win every competition not just to win but it's just like to hold up our reputation. It was the ultimate showcase of skills. A prominent part of homecoming on some college campuses, the Step Show was the biggest opportunity to show who was best. It's two thumbs up for Spike Lee's school day. In the 80s, the show of pride made it to Hollywood. Movies like Spike Lee's School Days and the Cosby Show spinoff, A Different World, introduced stepping to a wider audience than ever before. Boot dance. What is amazing is that it still retains its original intent. You know, even though it was originally for the frats and sororities to, to express love and pride, it's now for high schools and step teams to express love and pride, middle schools, elementary schools, church step teams. Everybody still uses the form for the same purpose. By the 90s, stepping was everywhere. Members of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity performed during Bill Clinton's inauguration. Stepping was also a part of the opening pageant of the 96 Olympic Games. And eventually, 
it made its way to Broadway. We taught, you know, Grammy Award winning Sweet Honey and the Rock how to step in a collaboration between gospel spiritual, African American spirituals and step in. And we merged it with jazz and even rock music. And now the future is even brighter. And there are a lot of places that we want to continue to take step in. Really kind of show the community that it has unlimited artistic possibility. This, up this year, we'll be working on a new production called Green is a New Black, which is going to investigate artists' contribution to sustainability and how we can maybe even harness, harvest the energy from stepping and maybe light a building or something. Who knows? But it's a, it's a new idea. I believe idea. you can. We're going to give it a shot. I believe you can. The <laughs> We're gonna power give it a shot. that is just expelled when, right. when you step. I believe you right. can. Right. But it has, but, and, and so we're going to look at its technologies to capture that. And what, what's that going to mean? I mean, what's that mean if you can actually step and charge your cell phone? You know? Charge your cell phone. Right? Yeah. So we're going to just try it yeah. and see what happens. And that's what we do as artists. We try to take this beautiful form of stepping share it with children, but now, take it to new places. I'm Danella Seelock, and thank you for joining us. We are the soul stepping sober, the deep